in a desert creature made a duel. And this was the third member of the Zamorax Navy team. Now, number four. So, we have Rikorvik and Yalf recruited in the second age with some help to track them down. The second age, also known as the Age of Saros, an extremely powerful god with a huge empire, and he kept expanding it. Around the middle of the second age, Eklaren brought the Machara to Gilmore from their home Fenesca. They drove on the marching armies of Saros. But later, the Majara abandoned Nechtlarin and chose the side of Zaros. And with this, Zaros had an unstoppable army and force. They invaded the Caradian Empire under the lead of a young captain. A personal favorite of Zamorak, because it was one of the strongest of Zamorak's army already. It was a young dragon king that was raised by the Majara. In this long period, he became what you can call half dragon king and half Majara. Some people summon chickens or wolves. He summons demons. When this dragon with the Majara invaded the Caradian Desert, they found the Dominion Tower. But it has always been a mystery for who built this tower. The only thing they know is that the race who built this disappeared shortly at the arrival of the Majara. After the betrayal of Saros, and the comeback of Samurai after being banished. Approximately around the year 3000 to 4000, he fought together with Tamarin and his army against the clan golems of Yuzu. He and Tamarin opened the portal to use the central temple complex to assault the clay golem army from within. But this battle was with no victory when Azanandra singly handed destroyed Tamarin's army. Later on, after the destruction of Yuz, Tamarak's army moved to Yudet. This army was under control by Balfra, Kriya, and again the Stanker. And in time, the Yulek area turned into a reed swamp and the rest was flooded by the sea. After all this, Zaskaro joined Zamorak's elite team on Zamorak's request. Well, much more I can't tell about him. He is in total mystery and is only seen in times of great danger and destruction.
No, that we're four of the five members of the Big Five. And the fifth? If you want, I can take you to the fifth member. How? Uh, why? Because that's part of the plan. He's in the overworld. But then... Yes, you guys have to die then. Or two of you. I need one to stay alive. Oh look, the fire is dying. Because of the virtual massacre and violence, we have this part of the video replaced by a small documentary of the Lovelace Girl. Today, we're gonna learn something about the Lovelace Girl. The Lovelace Girl, compared to other girls, only feed on grass. Duh. They live in a very difficult environment. Goblins to the south of them. Oh look, an angel loops in practically every direction. Oh my god, the same danger happened. The good news is that there is a fence between the goblins and the girls. Hi there, nice girl. You are so candy. Mm. What a clean, clean creature. What? I mean, boo? And oh. What did you do? We were trying to shoot the military. You f***ing idiot. What the f*** did you do then? Okay, and... Now, because of the violence in this documentary, also, we go back to the original video. You, don't move and listen. You will spread over the world what you have heard today. You will announce our arrival, and you will prepare for what will be coming. Now go home, keep your loved ones close to you, because soon they will come and claim what is rightfully ours. <laughs>